All right, guys, how about some Dixie Chicken today by Little Feet? The live version, of course. See if I can get through the first part. Sean Cheek here with webpianoteacher.com. We're going to do the whole first four minutes of this, which is really, you know, the greatest part of the piano uh, going on in this. Four minutes. I think it's like uh, three or four pages of solid notes here for me <laughs> that I had to transcribe. And a um, lot, a ton of notes in there. Just because you can hear what the notes are supposed to be doesn't mean, don't mean you can't, you can play it. You really have to work on it, uh, in, and especially I have to work on it as well um, to do this. So this is an expert level deal here, but if you want to try it, give it a shot. It's on webpianoteacher.com, the whole, whole four minutes. But let's start with the left hand here. A, C sharp, E, A. All right, and I'm not going to try to simplify any of this. I'm giving you just what I hear on the recording <clears throat> as I sit down and listen to it. So we'll just go for it. Just play it slow, you know? You don't have to play it full speed to enjoy it. So that's the rhythm. Bum, bum, bum. One, and two, and three, and four. Swing, bum, bum. So get that left hand down. <clears throat> and don't rush it. Don't rush it. That's where people mess up a lot of times is they try to go too fast, too early. All right, so the right hand comes in with F sharp, D, F sharp. I'm going to I'm gonna use um, one, four, five. And that makes it easier for me to flip that C sharp from a C natural. Two, three on the C to C sharp. The, uh, the top or the outsides are E, octave part. So, and then C sharp, E at the end. So from the very beginning, slow. One. Next measure. So we have E, third finger, C natural with a two, A F sharp, and then it's one and four, and then A, and then A E A. So one, a two, three, and. Now I have an A in parentheses because I kind of hear a piano note or something kind of playing A there, and I wasn't quite sure, so I put it in parentheses. I like the A. It kind of gives me something to do with my right hand while I'm waiting. All right, so that second measure. Right? There we go. So let's try it from the beginning. Just work on that. Play that, you know, 20, 50 times till you can do it. If you got to go this slow, I can't even do it slow. Here we go. That's a real test if you can play it, you know, if you can play it slow and play it accurately. But, you know, just take a little piece and work on that and let that be enough for today and try another part another day. All right? But for now... I'm going to go ahead for this lesson, and we're going to go ahead. Dun, dun. So the left hand stays on A. The right hand goes E, F sharp, E. So ba, ba. Start with a two. Da, da, da. Now C, C, B. And while I'm thinking about it, let me tell you, don't drown this in pedal. Oh, you got to have those spaces in there. You're going to be exposed. you got to have that space, so don't, don't connect everything. I can't even do it. I don't even want to hear what it sounds like <laughs> to use too much pedal e f sharp e and then c natural with the octave bum, bum, b, a a and then a on the thumb at the end da, 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 da. the left hand goes to d f sharp a you may think what well, can i do just single notes with the left hand yes you can he's not doing that though when he's playing so i'm doing octaves 
I don't write octaves on the left hand because I like to keep the board simple. I think it's part of the, the charm of it. And so I try to keep it simple. Most of us who are doing this type of learning anyway are by ear players. And uh, we just kind of use this to get going and, and memorize it. So. Da, 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 left. Bum, bum, bum. Notice where the left hand plays by itself there. That ought to help you out. Okay, so let's add that to what we know already from the beginning. All right, I really tried not to not rush. This next measure is the killer measure. Ah, sorry. So got those descending octaves. What's what's hard about it is I'm not looking at my hands when I'm playing. I'm looking up there, so that makes it harder. Once you memorize it, it should be a lot easier. So the left hand says D, F sharp, A again, but the right hand, dun, 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 dun. let's just do the octaves first. F sharp, E, C natural, B, A, F sharp, E. Once you have that, then we can add those middle notes, all right? Now, here's the thing. If, if that's hard enough, don't even play the middle notes. But if you can, go back and let's try. Put a D with your fourth finger. I'm using my fourth finger. I just think it's easier to get my two finger on the next A. I'm classically trained, so I do some weird stuff with fingerings. Then I'm going to do C, F sharp, C to B, E, B with one, two, five. So la, 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 la. And then it's, my iPad's trying to turn off. A, F sharp, E. This is going to be a long lesson. Long lesson one. All right, so it's one. Let's do it again. One. Just work on that and work on it. Do you memorize it? Now, next measure. Well, let's tie it together, right? I mess up a lot of times is the rhythms. I love this part because it's not as hard as it sounds. And it's really cool. It sounds like it's hard, but it's not. A, C sharp, A, A octave, C, F sharp. Not, it's not hard compared to the rest of it that we've just done. C natural. Now I'm going to go C sharp, A, E, C, C sharp, B. Two, five, three, two, one. And I have a little curved line. Sometimes that reminds me to go a little faster on those notes. You can't really count that. It's just get the notes in. Kind of an odd thing to have for blues, but it sounds cool. E, B there. So you're going for B. E, B, and then C, C sharp. There, okay. And the C sharp E in the left hand is just the finishing of the A. C sharp, E. So we start over there and we go. Again. One more time. Now we have C sharp, E, F sharp, A, E. Hear the swing, ta, 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 ta. Long, short, long, short, long. Well, the longs are the little dashes I put and the curved lines are the the smiley faces, they look like smiley faces to me, are the uh, faster notes. So, C, C sharp, C, C sharp, put your fifth finger on the E. When you're in a group of a bunch of notes, always try to pick out the one that stays the same, or the couple that stays the same. Then it'll make these stick out a little better to you, and you can, can do them. So you have a one. Keep that left hand short, you know. Part of the charm is those little open spaces in there. Um, let's start uh, let, on the hard part right there. And go one. All right, so I love doing this too because 
you're not going to find any sheet music that has all these notes in it that's, that someone transcribed exactly. And I don't know why. Maybe it's because the publishers figure most people are going to be able to play it so they don't even mess with it. Or, I don't know. I have no idea. Some of this is kind of hard to notate in traditional music notation. Um, so anyway, I like doing that. I like showing everybody the what's really happening on the album version. We can really sound like the music you love. Okay, right here we go to E, G sharp, B, because we're doing a blues thing, you know? It's not a really a 12-bar blues progression, but you can hear the bluesness in it. So we go to an E chord, and that's the only three chords we're going to be using for a while. Right, A, D, and E. And then this guy gets into some, you know, classical sounding stuff, some ragtime sounding stuff, some jazz sounding stuff, and some stuff that's fused together. Uh, it's just really creative stuff. C and E, B, and then A, C, sharp, E. Bum, bum, bum. And you play that chord again. I'm going to do two, four, five. So I save my thumb for the E, F sharp, B. So da, 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 da. left hand, E, G sharp, B. So we have... And then we have la. So D, 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 E, A. Now this E right here is the only E that's not an octave. Based on the thumb octave so far. Because we want to just use that E to get to the A. So D, 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 E, A. So just one note on that. Right hand. Um, e, C, D, B, C, A, F sharp. Difficulties in this are one, the octaves, getting around with all those octaves in both hands. And the other difficulty is rhythm, I think. <laughs> Having it fit all together, left and right hand. Because, guys, it is not about hand independence. Everybody talks about hand independence. No, that's what you have. You have hand independence. You don't want that. You want hand cooperation. You want your left hand and your right hand to be able to work together to feel a rhythm. See, when I go la, 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 I don't feel a left hand rhythm and a right hand rhythm. I feel the whole thing all together at once. La, 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 la. So that's cooperation. You don't want hand independence um, as far as rhythm goes. So that next measure, A. C sharp E, and the right hand will have A on the thumb, A E A, A E A again, F sharp on the four, C sharp, so, and then A, and then da -da -da -da. our big to get us back into the next chord progression, okay? So that's our structure. So we have E. And then E, F sharp, E. The left hand will stay on E, though. E, 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 F sharp, E. All right. So let's start at the beginning. And you can play your right hand by itself. Great. Play your left hand by itself. But you need to spend a lot of time. Don't, don't expect playing your hands separately to make it all go together easier. That's not going to help you get your hands together. Getting your hands together is a matter of playing with your hands together and giving it a shot and keep keeping after it until it works out. But taking small sections and doing that. Don't take a big section. Take a small section and beat it to death until you can do it. And then take another small section, do the same thing, and then time together. You know, like a link in a chain. Mess that up. by the seat of my pants doing this because I've just just learned it. Once it gets under my fingers and kind of memorized, it'll be a lot easier, I think, for me. But we all have to go through this stage.
little part of it. There's a ton more really cool stuff to learn in this. So that's our lesson one. And um, again, we do all the rest of it on webpianoteacher.com. One of my, uh, it'll be one of the monumental lesson series, I think, for the website. You guys enjoyed that. Talk to you later.